Now, the Premier League has been urged to re-examine assurances given by Newcastle Saudi owners that the state would not have control of the club. It comes following the filing of a new court document in the United States. It raises fresh concerns about the level of separation between the Saudi authorities and the country's public investment fund, whose governor, Yasser al Ramayan is also chair of Newcastle. A brief filed in court case uh, involving the PGA Tour and Live Golf describes the PIF as a sovereign instrumentality of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Al Rumayyan as a sitting minister of the Saudi government. Uh, the Premier League approved their PIF-led takeover of Newcastle in October 21 after they received what they said were legally binding assurances that the Saudi state would not have control of the club. Well, human rights group Amnesty International now wants further questions put to Newcastle's owners. Uh, Peter Franconetto from Amnesty said it was always stretching and credulity to breaking point to imagine that the Saudi state wasn't directing the buyout of Newcastle with the ultimate aim of using the club as a component in its wider sports washing efforts. There's an unmistakable irony in the Sovereign Wealth Fund declare, declaration emerging in a dispute about another arm of Saudi Arabia's growing sports empire. But the simple fact is that Saudi sports washing is affecting numerous sports and governing bodies need to respond to it far more effectively.